It is Tuesday. It is the 19th of February. Hello, I'm Monita Raj Paul. This is CNN News Center, live from Hong Kong. In the South African city of Port Elizabeth, family and friends have said farewell to a young model shot and killed in the early hours of Valentine's Day. 1,100 kilometers north in the capital, Pretoria, the man accused of killing her has appeared in court, crying uncontrollably as the charge against him was upgraded to premeditated murder. It is a tragic story by any standards, but when the murder suspect is Olympic and Paralympic athlete Oscar Pistorius, a man whose journey to sport Sporting success has inspired millions. It takes on even greater resonance. The defense team for Pistorius argues that he thought 29 year old Reva Steenkamp was a burglar when he opened fire. But the charge he now faces offers very little hope of bail. In just a moment, we'll hear from Nkapila Mabuse in Port Elizabeth. But first, let's take you to Robin Kerno, who joins us now from outside the court in Pretoria. Robin. One of the world's best-known food companies has become caught up in the horse meat scandal that spread even further through Europe. Nestle says it's taking some of its beef products off the shelves after finding traces of horse DNA in them. Nestle says the meat came from a German supplier. Two pasta meals normally sold in Italy and Spain are being withdrawn. In the Pakistani city of Quetta, Shiite Muslims are refusing to bury more than 80 people killed in a suicide bombing at the weekend. Protesters want the government to do more to stop violence that they blame on, on extremists from Pakistan's Sunni Muslim majority. British Prime Minister David Cameron has pulled out all the stops to secure business for Britain from India with what he's calling the country's biggest ever trade delegation. But on the second day of his visit, Mr. Cameron is still Facing questions over alleged bribery relating to a contract for British made helicopters in 2010. An American cybersecurity company has linked a major hacking group to the Chinese government. In a 60 page report, the firm Mandiant alleges that an extensive cyber espionage campaign is being waged from locations near Shanghai. Well, China's foreign ministry spokesman has dismissed the allegations made in the report. China has always strongly denied accusations that it sponsors or direct cyber attacks. CNN's David McKenzie joins us now from our Beijing bureau. David, what other details are coming out from this 60-page report? Well, Manita, it's a very detailed report and quite extraordinary, the details. Fascinating indeed. David, thank you very much. David McKenzie there, live for us from Beijing. You're watching CNN News Center, live from Hong Kong. You're watching CNN News Center, live from Hong Kong. Hello, I'm Juanita Rajpal. Russia's emergencies ministry has sent two planes to Syria to deliver humanitarian aid and pick up Russians who want to leave. The ministry says citizens of other former Soviet republics are also welcome to board. Meanwhile, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad told the Lebanese newspaper he is confident his troops will win. Syria's neighbors have been coping with an influx of refugees escaping the fighting. The UN says there are more than 850 thousand Syrian refugees. Many have fled to Turkey, Jordan and Lebanon and it says almost a hundred thousand have made the journey to Iraq. Our Damon checked out the conditions in a camp near the border. It looks like a poor and muddy village. Still to come here on a news center, the opening knockout round of the Champions League continues later. And there is a blockbuster game involving two of the biggest names in European football. Let's join Alex Thomas in London for more on that. Alex. Hi, Manita. Arsene Wenger stands accused of having an emotional meltdown ahead of Arsenal's most important match. Interesting, Manita. Manita. I remember speaking to some of the Aussie swimming squad on the Eve of London 2012. They were happy and looking forward to it. A very different picture. Now, none of them returning my calls when I tried to contact them again. Mm. Back to you. Funny that. Alex, thank you very much for that, Alex Thomas there in London. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Still ahead, the Royal Bump goes public. We'll join our Royal Correspondent in London. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Well, it is official, folks. Catherine Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge, looks like a perfectly healthy pregnant woman. She's just arrived at an addiction charity in London, her first official outing since announcing her pregnancy. Well, the Duchess of Cambridge is visiting Hope House in southwest London. That's where we find CNN's royal correspondent, Max Foster. And Max, before we get to uh, Ms. Mantle's uh, comments, let's talk a little bit about the Duchess and how she appeared. And how is that royal bump? 
Well, she looks incredibly well. I have to say, we had some pictures, of course, released in an Italian magazine. Well, at least, you know, she's, she's healthy, she's doing well, and uh, we wish that little bump all the very best. Max, thank you very much for that. Max Foster there in South London for us. Let's uh, turn to weather now. Heavy rain in the southern half of the Philippines. Meteorologist Mari Ramos is at the World Weather Center with those details. Hi, Mari. Hello, Monique. Good to see you. You know what? This is a tropical cyclone in the making already uh, across uh, the southern Philippines, and it is a concern for people here. Be Back to you. All right. Mari, thank you very much for that. And yes, do stay with us. Indeed, we've got another edition of News Center coming up in just a couple of minutes. Do stay with us.